Hey everybody, welcome back. Boy, I know it's been a little while since the last review. Sorry, June is just a crazy month. Bear with me, July things will be back on track. Today we're looking at the placebo, not placebo, placebo digital multimeter. Now this Here was a go. cheapo. I got this on Amazon for about 14 bucks Canadian. Whoa! And this has thousands of reviews. That's what caught my eye. And I thought, well, that many people are liking it. You know what? Is it something worth looking at? Well, we'll soon find out. Now look at this. It actually comes with a seal. Uh, do not accept if seal is broken. Whoa! You don't see this too often in the cheapo zone. Heck, in any multimeter zone. But that's usually a good sign. So let's break that seal, shall we? Here we go. Oh my God, this is quite a collection of stuff here. And <laughs> electrical tape. Whoa, who the heck bundles a meter with electrical tape? Um, what else do we have here? A box, a box of goodies. Oh, it's in there really good. Oh, wow, man. So here we've got like some wire snipping stuff going on here. Very cool. Um, that's handy, that's really handy. Some little tiny uh, crocodile clips. And oh yeah, they're double-sided, so both ends are the same. And the world's biggest screwdriver. Well, not quite, but oh my God, that is tiny. Um, and you know what? Another screwdriver, this is a Phillips. So they give us a Phillips and a, a standard Allen head on the screwdriver. And some pretty big size test leads as well. Whoa! Mama, those are huge. We get our instruction manual. Pretty tiny, but nonetheless, there it is. And finally, what is this? Some sort of a, if I can get it out of here. Come on, baby. It's, oh, it's just, just a leaflet. The Placebo Kit, Mastering the Art of Measurement eBook. Claim your free copy so you can download an eBook um, that'll tell you basically, I guess, how to use the darn meter. Hmm. And of course we get the multimeter. There it is, nice rubberized boot. Remember this is a non-auto ranging, a manual ranging meter. Um, pretty tiny and whoa, look at that. Pull, and I guess that's for the battery. Oh yes it is, so very funky. Hey, that battery's not gonna die in transit. Um, wow, good attention to detail as you can see overall. This is gonna be fun. Now the placebo is by no means a big multimeter. No, let's put it beside that habit test. It's literally half the size. But compact can be a bonus depending on your requirements. Even have a screen protector here. Let's just lose that. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. So uh, yeah, ready to rock and roll with the little placebo. Beauty. Take a closer look at that selector switch starting at the midnight or off position. Volts AC up to 600 volts. Battery tester 1.5 and 9 volt. DC amps from 2 milliamps up to 10 amps. Diode and continuity. Resistance up to 2 mega ohm. Finally, DC volts up to 600 volts. At the top of the meter, we have two buttons. Soft touch, here is for the backlight. And on the right hand side, we have the one touch hold. Bottom of the multimeter, we have our three inputs. Unfortunately, they are not color coded. On the far left, we have our high current input. In the middle, we have our common or ground. Finally, on the far right, we have our positive input for the voltage, resistance, and current. That selector switch, it's, you know, I love the way they've designed the actual um, mechanism. Uh, you get a good grip for such a small meter. That being said, it's got a little bit of leeway, um, a little bit too sluggish for my liking. Um, eh, it's about a, a C mi minus, maybe plus. Now look at that display, LCD, 2000 counts. Um, yeah, it's nothing fancy, but uh, it is pretty crispy and contrasty. Um, it has an enunciator here, showing us that we are in high voltage mode. Um, you know, not bad. It does have a backlight. Let's take a look at, oh my gosh, that's blue. Wow. And that didn't stay on very long, did it? Oh, wow. So we're talking about like, what? A four or five second backlight? Why bother? 
Test leads are not silicon, standard sort of PVC, but um, boy, they're huge. 1000 volts max, a Cat 3, they have the CE logo and have a lot of uh, strain relief here in the back and that nice uh, top, very, very uh, sharp. Wah! Um, anyway, I gotta say, these are some huge, huge test leads for, I mean, look at, let's just, I mean, come on. They're like literally one and a half, one and a quarter times the size of the meter. Nuts, but anyway, here we go. Voltage reference out, precision DC time, and a 5.07 uh, coming up, 5.8. And now this has been heating up for about 15 minutes. Uh, it's a little bit on the high side. Um, it's a cheapo though, but uh, you know, not the best out there. AC volts is next. Remember, this is not a true RMS. Uh, yeah, so we are not gonna be 100% accurate here with that uh, AC sine wave, but nonetheless, 121.9 volts, uh, fairly close, looking good. Pretty Aphrodite, time for continuity. Oh, it's been so long. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh! Oh my God, that is... It sounds like a like a mouse in distress. Oh man, that just sucks. The big one. I already got the Probe Masters. Oh, definitely better. Quick latched, still really loud, loud but squeaky high. Interesting. Sixty point three decibels maximum output volume in continuity. Okay, here we go. Time for diode and LEDs. I'm going to start off with the standard diode. Here we go. And we have a forward voltage drop. Yes, we do. Uh, red LED, it is lit. No forward voltage. Green LED, lit. I'm sorry, the yellow. Now the green, the blue, no can do, and the white. So three out of five in terms of illumination and a zero out of five in terms of forward voltage drop. Wow, we have a measly 2.5, okay, 2.48 volts output voltage in diode mode. All right, we're sitting in current right now, current mode, DC, sitting at 1.3 amps. Um, here we go, I'm not gonna go overly high. This has no fuse. Uh, we'll take it up to about three amps or so. And there we are, 3.21, coming up as 3.2, good stuff. And once again, like I said, this has no fuse, nothing on the high current mode. So uh, yeah, be careful. Alrighty, it's teardown time, here we go. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any brass threaded insert for that battery cover. So uh, over time, that's gonna wear out, not a good sign. Powered by two AAA batteries, as you can see, comes with these cheap Pycel batteries. Might wanna replace those. Um, there's the battery housing as it is. On the other side, standard fare, uh, no shielding. Eh, we have some big solder blobs going on here for the terminal connections, but uh, really nothing uber exciting. And here we are, closer look at the inside. And look at those input jacks. Oh, not the greatest. Really cheap, cheesy tinning material they're using. Uh, soldered onto the main PCB itself. Split ends. Um, yeah, you know, wasn't expecting any better, to be quite honest. Uh, tiny little current shunt. Uh, we do have one pigtail fuse. A pigtail, pigtail fuse on the milliamp side. Uh, 250 milliamps, so it's actually overrated to the 200 milliamps that they're signifying. So that's a good thing. Once again, no fuse on the high current side, just that current shunt. Do have one PTC as well over here on the voltage side. Main IC is cobbed, and there is our kind of sad speaker. Really not much else going on. The uh, zebra strip over here for the display. This is based on the 830 uh, prototype. So basically you're getting a souped up 830 clone. Um, yeah. All right, gonna put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the placebo digital multimeter. Oh, this one just ain't worth it. Now my grandfather used to say, sales in the sizzle, grandson. Well, not really, but it sure sounds like him. And I gotta say, yes, they've definitely put some sizzle here in this cheapo package. I mean, that's pretty cool. But at the end of the day, what you really want is a multimeter that's gonna be, you know, a decent multimeter. And this is really not so hot. 
accuracy, eh, nothing great. In fact, for the DC accuracy, uh, it wasn't great at all. High current amps is unfused, never a good thing. Um, yeah, you've got the battery tester, which I didn't go through, but I mean, it's okay. Uh, but you know, it's a non-auto ranging meter. The display is small. The backlight is just a joke. Um, really, at the end of the day, I think you can do a lot better for just a teeny bit more money. The Placebo digital multimeter gets a not so hot two out of five stars. What? Yeah, there's definitely worse out there, but there's so much better. Hey, thanks for watching this review. Everybody, lots more coming. Like I said, June is a crazy month for me, but things will be back to the norm come mid-July. Hey, thanks for watching. Till the next one, keep on testing.